am one person that does not enjoy being cold. I'm African, I like the sun, and I live in London, which arguably is one of the grayest, wettest, and coldest cities that you can live in. I have had to find ways to cope so that I do not go insane, so that I do not freeze to death. And today I'm going to be sharing them with all of you guys. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Ifema. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. I know that this video is a little late. Ideally, this video should have gone out around November-ish, to be very honest. But if you live in London or if you live in the UK, you know that it's never too late to be prepared for the cold weather. Apparently this week we are getting ready for another frosty season. It's going to be close to zero or maybe even under, who knows? So I thought that I would quickly try and get this video out for all my fellow warm-blooded people out there that do not like to be cold, this is the video for you. This is the video that I wish I had watched years ago. I think it would have made my life a lot easier. But here we are, it's never too late to learn something useful. If you found this video useful or if you enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. If you like the vibe, please consider subscribing. I make videos on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle three times a week with weekly vlogs on Sunday. I would love to have you join my family. All right, so these are all of my warm winter fashion essentials. As usual, links to everything will be left in the description box below so if there's anything that you like the sounds of definitely check that out we're going to start from like the innermost layer so let's start off with our undergarments one thing that's been the biggest game changer in my body temperature <laughs> is thermals i have a couple to show you but honestly thermals are not really that sexy so i don't know if i really should be exposing myself like this but my favorite ones have been from Uniqlo. Uniqlo has this patented technology. I don't really know how it works, but it is so clever. So the heat tech range comes in so many different colors. It comes in tops, it comes in trousers, and essentially they're just made from this super thin, I don't know if you'll be able to see how thin it is, but it is so thin, and I still don't know how this technology works, but for whatever reason, it's just able to, I guess, trap in your body heat. I have this black crew neck, which is great for layering. I wear this pretty much underneath anything that I can get away with this time of year. I also have this one, which is a turtleneck. Hold on, let me turn it inside out. It's really, really comfortable, made from that same fabric. And this is a piece you could probably even wear on its own with like a cardigan on top or something like that. These are a little big for me, so I'm not able to wear them comfortably for layering, but they're just black leggings and they have this terry cloth fabric on the inside. I'll leave sizes and everything down in the description bar down below. I know they do heat tech tights, so like stockings, which you could definitely wear under trousers or even under skirts. So check out the Uniqlo heat tech range, guys. I've tried thermals from so many other places and Uniqlo hands down does them the best. They have so many options, so many colors, so many different styles to try. All the ones I have right now, I bought last winter over a year ago and they're still amazing they wear well they wash well this is obviously not sponsored the second thing i wanted to talk about are woolly socks i feel like i've mentioned these before i'm pretty sure uniqlo also does their heat tech socks so that might be something that i decide to look into this year however all the woolly fuzzy socks that i have in my collection i've gotten from primark and to be honest they've lasted very well. The only pair I have to show you are these sage green ones because I actually am doing laundry at the moment, but they're coming up as a different color right now. Yeah, that's a little bit more accurate. But yeah, essentially they're just a pair of, see if it'll focus on me. Yes, essentially they're just a pair of woolly socks. I love thick woolly socks. They're great for wearing with boots. They're great for wearing um, just around the house. But with these socks, guys, like they're so good. I know some people even double up their socks around the time of year so definitely just think about layering pieces that is something that you will hear me talk about a lot so those are all the undergarments i wanted to talk to you guys about now let's go on to the things that you would wear on top so your knits and your actual clothes so for me i think this is where it's really important to invest in quality materials invest in quality fabrics 
I know it can be expensive, but I will give you all my tips on how I've been able to get really good quality cashmere and wools in particular for a good price point. So this piece I'm wearing right now is actually also from Uniqlo. I know, like you would think that this is sponsored, but it's really not. This is a cashmere turtleneck jumper and I will link it down below for a 100% cashmere jumper. This is one of the most affordable ones that I found in the market. Again, comes in so many colors, so many different styles, but I love a classic turtleneck. You know what? Let me actually Google what it is about cashmere. Why is cashmere warm? Okay, so cashmere is essentially the finest and softest and warmest yarn and helps to maintain your natural body temperature, meaning it keeps you warm warm but not hot. It is also naturally absorbent, which lets your body breathe. Okay, as the fibers of cashmere are much finer than wool, cashmere is better at trapping heat without adding extra weight or heaviness to the garment itself. That's a little bit of background because I've never really taken the time to research why one is superior to another. But starting from last year, I started to prioritize looking at fabric compositions and oh my God, guys, it's so, it's so true. I used to have a very similar jumper that was from Zara that I think was probably made from Polly Yester. And when I tell you the difference night and day, not in just the feeling of it, obviously this feels softer, but it does keep me so much warmer. So there is something about the fabric composition that's not just hype. I've also gotten another one from Lily Silk. I'll link it down below. That's my round crew neck jumper. I wear it quite a lot on this channel. I think it's in the wash because I don't really know where it is right now. This is another 100% cashmere piece and I actually bought this from TK Maxx and I think it was like 30 pounds. This is from a brand called Shoreditch Ski Club. So if I can find this online, I'll also link it down below. So the second thing I wanted to talk about, footwear. I really got into boots this year. I'm going to show you a really inexpensive pair of boots and I'm going to show you a more expensive pair of boots and we can talk about warmth, okay? Because that's what this video is about. So the first pair of boots I have to share with you guys are these boots that I got from Primark. If you guys watch my vlogs, you would have known. I actually hunted these boots down. I do not know how to tell what these boots are made from. Yeah, it doesn't say. Anyway, if I had to guess what these boots are made from, I mean, they were 22 pounds. I would say it's probably some form of plastic. I don't even know what this fabric is. It is very much so like a light, cushiony fabric, if that makes sense. One thing I will say is it's great that these are a nice knee-high pair of boots. I know you guys can't really see because I have so many lights on, but this will obviously add another layer of protection or clothing rather to your legs that'll keep you warm. But one thing I have noticed is when it's cold outside, my toes still feel a bit cold with these. So these boots are not the greatest from a warmth perspective. However, if I show you my Russell and Bromley boots, these boots were obviously significantly more expensive than the Primark boots. These are 100% leather. They have really good tread on the bottom. So these are like my favorite walking boots. I actually stole these from my mom, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. But these boots are such great quality. I don't know what they've lined these boots in. Now that I'm feeling it compared to the Primark lining, this feels a lot softer. It feels a lot, um, not necessarily thicker, but it just feels better on my feet. And when I'm walking in these boots, I notice that my toes don't feel as cold as they do in the Primark ones. So it is definitely worth looking into investing in a good quality pair of boots. I don't believe that everything in your wardrobe has to be high end and super expensive, but I do think that certain things that you're going to wear year after year after year, like a comfortable pair of walking boots, you will want to invest in a good quality pair because they will help to keep you warm. I will try to link these exact ones if I can find them or, or a similar pair. I'm so happy that I have these and it's actually making me want to get more boots from Russell and Bromley. You know, Russell and Bromley has been promoting this sale for the longest time. They have a pair of boots that's really similar to a pair of Louboutin boots that I've been having my eye on for a while. So I'm waiting to see if those got in the sale. But um, yeah, that's another like pro tip, shop for things out of season and then that way your money will go further. Arguably my favorite part, and these are the accessories. I think accessories have a way of just elevating an outfit, but of course, in this video, we're talking about warmth, okay? So the first thing I have to share with you guys is a scarf. 
I am not the biggest scarf lover, I will say, but scarves really help to keep your neck warm and that's really important. So this one I'm going to show you, I actually picked up from a brand called Sky Cashmere and I got this in Berlin actually. And you can see the fabric composition right here is 50% viscose, 20% wool and 30% cashmere. So I was actually talking to the owner of the shop and he told me that they have 100% wool scarves and then they had these ones. And when I felt these ones, these ones felt softer and he told me it was because of the blend of the viscose in it, I think he said, or the cashmere, I can't remember, but he said that there was something about this blend that felt softer than a 100% um, wool scarf. They didn't have a 100% cashmere scarf anyway, but I like it because it's plain. It's very warm. It's very easy to just throw on top of anything. And because it's black, it goes with everything. The real way to wear a scarf in order for it to be warm is to wrap it around your neck. And that's just the truth. And I don't like the way that looks. So for me, if I wear a scarf, I'm just wearing it draped over like this which really doesn't like do too much for warmth, but it looks nice. So that's just a personal problem to be very honest. The next thing I have to share with you guys are gloves. Guys, it's so worth investing in staples because you wear them year after year after year. This is a leather pair of gloves and I got these actually very randomly in the Cotswolds. I picked them up in a very small random cottagey shop and they were like 12 pounds. The inside again, is lined in a really nice fleece material. They're very comfortable to wear, and these gloves are very, very warm. However, I know that they have gloves that have these little touch pad things, so you can still use your phone while you have your gloves on, and that is one thing I need to buy, because that would be a complete game changer. When you're out and about and you need to take your gloves on to use your phone, it is so annoying. I don't know why, but there's something about having cold hands and cold feet that just kind of makes the rest of your body feel really cold. So if you can take care of your hands and your feet, trust me, like you will notice a difference. Next thing I have is something that people might not think about. Sunglasses are actually Actually a winter staple for me and not even from a fashionable perspective if you live in a city like London as well the wind the wind oh my gosh the wind the wind will blow into my eyes and just make my eyes water and stream and it's just it's a different kind of chill that is so miserable and for the longest time I didn't want to walk around wearing sunglasses like in the winter because I just thought I thought it looked pretentious I'm not going to lie to you but the first time I got these sunglasses, the Celine Triumph O on glasses that I've wanted forever, first of all, do I not automatically look more chic? That's the first point, okay? But the second point is it just acts like a barrier to the wind. I love that, okay? The wind's not blowing into my eyes, it's not blowing into my face. It means that my eyes aren't streaming. I automatically feel warmer. And honestly, I have no apologies, but get yourself a pair of good sunglasses. They will help protect your face from the elements, okay? The last accessory I have to share with you guys are hats. Hats, again, will do wonders for you from a fashion perspective. I love a good hat, but they actually are great for warmth as well. I like a wide brim hat because I feel like, again, it has a way of just like covering you and cocooning you. This also helps to keep my ears warm. I know you wouldn't think so, but they do. Whenever you're wearing a hat out and about and you take off your hat, you realize how much warmth it's bringing to your head so yeah get yourself some hats guys I have so many friends that tell me hats don't suit them guys there are so many different styles of hats my favorite kind of hat is a wide brim hat and I also love a good baker boy hat go out try some different styles you will find a hat that suits you all right and now we're coming on to the final thing the thing you put on right before you leave the door you guys know I love a good coat, okay? There's a difference when you invest in a coat that has good quality materials, very similar to everything I had to say about knitwear. I like to look for coats that have a high wool or maybe even cashmere percentage in them. And it really just, it just does something, okay? This coat that I got in the Black Friday sale from Joseph, this is hands down one of my favorite Black Friday purchases, guys. So why this coat is great is not just because of the color, but also because of the fabric composition. So it is 75% virgin wool, 20% polyamide, 5% cashmere. 
And again, that blend is just excellent for keeping you warm. Joseph is obviously a very expensive brand, but I was able to get this coat for 50% off. So definitely keep your eyes out for sales. Like I said, try and shop out of season. You will be able to find a good quality coat. H&M has a premium range where they do really good high percentage of wool coats. So does um, Zara and so does ASOS. So I'll try and link some more affordable options down below, but guys, if you want to be warm this winter, you definitely have to keep your eye out on fabric compositions. I think that is essentially the key to being warm and to also looking chic. Another way to get high quality fabrics is to go vintage. This is my Maximara Madame coat that I got for under 200 pounds from eBay. Of course it is a vintage. I don't know how I got so lucky with this coat because even with vintage Maximara coats, they're usually a lot more expensive. But the cool thing about this coat is that it's 90% wool and 10% cashmere. So it is so, so warm. All right guys, so I'm going to end this video here. I hope you found it useful. Again, if there are any other warm winter fashion essentials that you have that you recommend, please leave your recommendations down in the comments down below. For me, the main takeaway has been investing in good fabric compositions and not being afraid to layer. The layering doesn't mean you need to look bulky. If you have some key pieces, you can layer and still be warm. If you have any other products or tips that I may have missed out, please leave them down below in the comment section. I would love to get some new tips as well. We definitely have at least two more months of winter so hopefully you have enough time to implement any of these and if you do don't forget to leave a comment and let me know how you got on i will catch you guys in my next video very soon stay blessed stay safe and take care